Welcome back, Modified Crew. I am your daily driver, Mark Herman, and this, this is by Scion FRS. It cost me $2,200 to buy, and at the end of this video, you're about to find out how much it costed me to build it to the point it is at now. I will give you everything in between, and we're starting right now. Glad you guys are joining me for this video. So let's go ahead and get started and talk about the car. So bear with me if I'm not looking at you guys, I gotta read this paper. I can ne not memorize all this. So anyways, let's get down to it. Now the overall cost of the car when I bought it was $2,200. This does not include any taxes or co-part fees or anything like that. And you know, to answer the question, yes, it was bought at co-part. It's a salvage auto auction and they're a great place to get a deal if you know how to turn a wrench. So if you are interested in Copart, I have a whole playlist that includes everything you need to know about Copart. So if you're like, how to get such a good deal on that car, feel free to check that out on the playlist. I'll provide the link up in the corner there for you. All right, so let's just move down the list here. So what we have is the repair cost. This is basically all the parts included to get it back to stock and repairing any damage, anything like that. So the repair cost is $2,302.36, okay? And what that includes is the airbag replacement. So I did the driver airbag, the dash airbag, the clock spring that goes to the driver airbag, the airbag sensors that are in the front of the car, both seat belts were rebuilt, and then the airbag control module plus shipping on all this stuff was also included. Now the cost of that is $1,059.75. So basically if you have a car with blown front airbags, that's roughly how much it's gonna cost on an FRS and maybe even other cars depending upon how much you pay for the airbag systems. That's included in the part. So half the repair cost was just in airbags, okay? Another big uh, purchase on the that was the exhaust system. It cost me $246.05. That includes the catalytic converter, which was cut out, multiple exhaust clamps, a new exhaust system because I was running a straight pipe system and uh, the hardware because it was kind of rusted and stuff. Uh, replacement parts that don't include the exhaust system or the airbag replacement is $779.60. Little tiny things, you know, sealants, things like that, replacement windshield, um, a hood, pretty much stuff like that. And the diagnostic and mechanical details this would be to get the car to run right because it was running a little uh, rich or lean. So that was $47.99. Now, the maintenance. Now, I went ahead and replaced the brakes, um, air filter, had an alignment done, things like that. So the maintenance cost was $199.64. So basically, that's all the cost to get the car to stock. So if we add those together, not including any modification because the car is modified, and no fees or tools because fees are gonna range from where you're at. You know, I live in California, so we get hit with a lot of fees. So just the cost of the car plus the parts to do the job, I mended the car at 4,502 cents, well, four, $4,502.36. So the next thing that's on our list here is uh, the modifications, okay? So I did modify the car uh, above and beyond stock. I left the engine stock because I'm in California and we want to have max resale value and if you start making it not smoggable, you're actually taking away from the value. So any mods that I did to the car kind of increase the aesthetics, the look, the feel of the car and the overall presence while still maintaining the car's maximum value. With that being said, I went ahead and did uh, demand eye LEDs, a front lip, uh, halo eyes, uh, headlight sealant, rear lip aprons, uh, rear quarter window louvers, um, black rust-oleum paint for the headlights, red vinyl wrap for the bottom of the trim, side skirts, tail light tint, uh, a tire pin, vinyl wrap so basically the cost of all those mods combined came out to 619 dollars and 96 cents now some of you guys will spend that on one part that makes a small difference and you know i understand that you want to pay for quality but what i wanted to show is that you can actually have a nicely modified car for very little money i mean i spent 600 dollars above stock to make the car look very nice and it was looking really good as you'll see in some of these clips here that it compares to other modified cars on the street so 
Would I do it again? Absolutely, I have no regrets, super happy about those purchases and the modifications that I've done for the price. So 619 bucks in mods. So the next thing that we were talking about is I mentioned on the, the repair costs that I didn't factor in tools. Now, tools are a variable thing. Each person has their own set of tools. I didn't have a few sets of tools, well, a few tools to complete the job that I wanted to. So the few tools that I actually had to buy would be an air, air, uh, air conditioning manifold gauge set, uh, OBD scanner, I had one, but I wanted a different one that would give me more live feed data. Uh, plastic welding iron kit, so basically when you repair plastic, you can weld it uh, with other plastic. UV dye for testing for leaks, which I didn't need. A vacuum pump to suck it, suction the air conditioning system, and a vinyl wrap toolkit. I also had a vinyl wrap toolkit, but I just wanted more magnets, stuff like that. So it wasn't necessary, but I did want to have it to make the job come out as nice as possible. But ultimately, I camera wrapped the car and didn't like it, so we took it off. Therefore, it's not even, you know, a required purchase. But nonetheless, you try some of these things out, you don't like it, you move on. No, you know, no reason to cry over it. Total cost I spent on tools is $186.08 on tools. So some of you may spend more, some of you may spend less. You could rent tools from, let's say, AutoZone, Pat Boys, O'Reilly. Most of those places will rent you tools. So check with them before just buying. I like to buy tools because if I'm gonna use them once, you might use them more than once. Typically you will, especially in my case. So I usually just buy them. All right, with that being said, let's move on. So this next category, as far as cost of a vehicle, um, a lot of people ask questions when looking to take on a salvage vehicle for rebuild or buy from Copart or something like that. So anyways, let's go and break down how much my fees costed. All right, so on a $2,200 vehicle from Copart, which was my winning bid, the additional Copart fees for that vehicle were $700. $20.40, guys. All right, so that's a pretty good percentage. I mean, that's what, probably like 40%? No, not 40, maybe 30% of the cost of the vehicle. So, I mean, when people say Copart fees will eat you up, if you don't pay attention, they can. And it gets way more expensive when you start spending or bidding on a higher priced car, all right? So I'm not saying don't do it. All I'm saying is pay attention to your fees when you're factoring in the total estimated cost of the build because they can, you know, they can add up real quick. So instead of actually paying to ship the vehicle, I rented a U-Haul. I rented a trailer that cost me $147.73. I went ahead and had the DMV fees. They were about 300 bucks. I believe it's 300 and six dollars three hundred six dollars on my dmv fees that was to you know the taxes the registration everything like that cool thing about buying an inexpensive car on the base price is that's what you're getting taxed on in california not the actual build price after it's done so that's cool all right so the smog brake lamp inspection and the smog retest which i had to retest because my cat was cut out of the car i wasn't aware of it when i took it in and i was definitely made aware of it after that. So anyways, I felt smog, but the brake lamp inspection, when you retitle a vehicle, they have to make sure your brakes are good and your lights, your front lights, your back lights, all that, have to be functioning. So you have to pay for that. And then obviously you have to smog a car anytime you put it into your name. So with that, the cost of the brake lamp inspection and smog the first time was $110 and the retest was $28.60 for the smog. So my total fees came out to be $1,000. $314.73. That brings us to the final part of this build. So the cost of the car is uh, 2200 well, $2,200, all right? The fees cost me $1,314.73. The repair cost, this includes all the parts, not mods, is $2,302.36. The mods that I put on the car cost me $619.96 and the tools cost me $171.10 and that's pretty much it. So when you add all that together, the total investment into the car, basically what the car cost to me is $6,623.14. That is not bad guys for a modified low mileage 
salvaged 2014 FRS with 67,000 miles on it. Anyways, if you like what we're doing here on the Modified Crew, feel free to give us a thumbs up and give us a comment if you have any questions or anything like that or feedback. And I will see you on 